Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and uh, today's topic of discussion is uh, very important. That is again related to how one can manage the out of specification result if your system suitability is found to be failing. See, we will uh, try to answer these questions with the help of two important regulatory guidelines, one which is published by FDA and another which is published by MHRA. So let us understand what is the content published in the FDA's OOS guideline. So if you can look on the screen now, you will find that this is a guideline published by US FDA. So if you read the content uh, given on the page number four, page number four, you will find the first paragraph which talks about certain analytical methods have system suitability requirements like chromatography, example HPLC, we may have a system suitability for six different standard injections or there could be a requirement of resolution tailing factors. So these are the system suitability requirements and if the system is found to be not meeting this requirement, right? For example, your system suitability is not able to meet the percent RSD is greater than your acceptance criteria your tailing factor is more than your acceptance criteria. In that case, you can say now my system is not meeting the suitability requirement. In such a situation, this data should not be used or considered. I mean, this system should not be used for any kind of analysis. But in case if you have started the sequence uh, and uh, until the standard gets completed, the initial six standards get completed, you was in the lab and you have a check onto the standard, everything was fine and then you loaded the sequence with the samples. But for some reason, you know, your bracketing standard was not meeting the your uh, acceptance criteria for the system stability and meantime your test sample has also got injected. Now the results could be calculated out of the injected test sample and if you and you have calculated the result and that found to be not meeting the specification. The situation is what? your sequence is completed, your system suitability for bracketing standard is not meeting. However, your in-between test results are out of the spec. So how you are going to investigate this uh, system suitability failure and the out of the specification result? Do you need to investigate this OS result by using the OS SOP or the guideline? As the USFDA guidance is very clear, in case if the system suitability is not meeting, such a system's data should not be considered or used. So whatever OS results you got generated out of injecting some test samples should not be considered for any kind of investigation. But yes, you can certainly investigate the root cause behind system failure. You can understand what has caused the system not meeting the specification. So I think the OS need not to be raised in case if the OS result is observed onto the system where the system suitability is out of the acceptance criteria. So this is the first guidance document which is USFDA. Let us now talk about what is the MHRA's uh, point of view on this situation. Now, MHRA according to me has not spoken about the system suitability requirement but as we know it is very much uh, part of our testing procedure, it's integral part of our testing procedure and hence meeting the system suitability is considered to be a the prerequisite for calculating the test results. Now if you look at the MHRA's guidance document and if you go into the section of investigation by analyst and supervisor continued, you will find that there is a mention about the system suitability and they said that system suitability conditions met those before analysis and during analysis. What this means? We have to confirm whether the system suitability was uh, uh, meeting before starting the analysis and throughout the or during the analysis. That means unless and until your system are suitable for the analysis, you cannot consider those results as a true valid result. For some reason, if you have the OS result in the hand 
and if your system is not suitable then there is no point in raising an os and investigating the out of the spec result rather than that you must identify the root cause for the system failure rather than that you must identify what is the reason for my system has gone out of the acceptance out of the system suitability acceptance criteria so i think uh, in both the guidelines uh, uk mhrs guidance document that we are referring right now and the us fds guidance document for os with the reference of these two guidelines i can able to conclude in case if the system suitability is not meeting irrespective of the status of the result whether it's within the spec or out of the spec we should not consider those test result let me also know what is your point of view in the comment box below thank you so much